Alrighty, what's good everybody? Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to share with you two different strategies on how to transition carpet to laminate flooring without a reducer. Now the first one here is you could see when the video started I pointed out I had a piece of tack strip up against the laminate floor and the reason being there is a bit of a height difference. So I put that there and I actually butt it directly up against the laminate floor and we're gonna do a turn and tack on top of it. So after that, fold the carpet back and I cut it about an inch hefty so when I fold the carpet under, it's just that one inch on top of the tack strip there. So everything's cut and ready. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that under and have the fold butt right up against the laminate there, maybe just the slightest bit short to it. Now I'm gonna take my stretcher and just bump it up so it's nice and snug up against those planks there and I'm gonna shoot it down with the electric tacker. So let's go ahead and get that folded, give it a little kick kick, make sure everything's nice and snug. Take my tacker, boom, boom, boom. Fire it into place, make sure everything's locked on. You can go ahead and start in the middle and I'm gonna fan off to the left next. Gonna go ahead and shoot that down. Simple and easy. And the best part about this when you're working with a plush carpet, it'll hide any imperfections from the laminate. So if the installer had to do cut pieces there, it's a little jagged or whatever the case may be, or if you're just DIY across the board, this will hide a lot of stuff. And you get a little sneak peek of that tack strip there, just helping me bump the carpet up a little bit higher to hide any flaws there might be going on. So grab the tacker, shoot that down, and then we're going to go to the other part of the room here. We're going to do the same thing, but with an angle cut and without the tack strip there. So it's going to be even Stevens, and we'll see how that actually turns out as well. Tuck any loose pieces in, we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and test out this next part here. Boom. So we're across the hall going to go ahead and trim everything down, get it ready to rock, fold it back. There's no tack strip there on this one. I'm going to butt the carpet right up to that laminate floor there. Once again, cut it just so it's going to be about an inch hefty overlapping the laminate there when I'm all said and done. Remove that excess carpet out of the way. Boom, boom. Everything's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold that under. Same exact scenario. We're just going to go ahead and have it fall about a hair shy to that laminate floor there. I'm going to get my knee kicker, wherever that may be, kick it up, get everything nice and tight. I'm going to grab my tacker. We're going to go secure it into place. And in this scenario, it butt up pretty nice. I was a little bit concerned that without using the tack strip, it may sit a little bit low and look raggedy there, but everything's all good on this. There's enough pile to hide those angled cuts on this particular doorway. So everything is good to go. Fan off to the other side, tap it in, boom, boom, boom. Simple as that. So as always... If you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, whether it's from installs to the business side of it, comment below. I'll create a video for you.